All right, guys, it's Jeff and Matt Kite. And I'm Tucker. And we're here to share one of our favorite accessories to end out 2023. Yeah, the magic ride, box. Exactly, the ride engine air box. I tell you, if I was my younger self watching me in this video, I would be saying, Sit yourself what? down. <laughs> are, you, are you kidding me? You are doing a video about an electric pump. Uh, I'm, I'm being serious. I uh, When I saw guys use electric pump at the beach, I was like, come on, really? I yeah. mean, you need to get a warm up in. You know, the pump. Might as well sit on your home and your lazy yeah. board with a VR headset yeah, no, on. No, I'm being serious. So, all those local guys <laughs> that use these, I was kind of judging you in my head. I didn't tell you that in person, though. I, I just was like, really? Come on now. I mean, I'm not old enough to use one of those. Man, after using this pump, my feelings have changed. We'll get yeah. into that more late, later, but let's first kind of dive in what you get um, with, with your pump here. So we got my favorite accessory that comes with the pump, the car charger, car charger. cigarette lighter, never leaves in the, leave your rig, plug it in after a session, charge her up as you're driving around, fully charged, unplug it, you're ready all the time. For some reason, forget, it's a quick charge to get enough uh, to pump up one wing or something while you go ride, and just, it works so well. Secondly, we got our USB-C cord. You'll notice this doesn't come with a wall adapter, a charging block. Uh, so if you have a smartphone or a tablet, nowadays most of them are using the USB-C system, uh, so you just use your charging block from that. Otherwise, you can find one on Amazon probably cheaper than you can buy one from Ride Engine as part of the package anyway. So they don't overcharge you for that, not buy anything you don't need. They just provide you with the cord. Yes, and then attachments. We have the standard attachment here. It comes with this little blue uh, washer, but this is what you'd have at the end of any kite pump. Uh, yep. It's kind of like the standard adapter. And then it comes with three other adapters. It comes with a high uh, pressure sup adapter. Um, also the long narrow needle one for like when you go to yeah, you beach, know, ball, or beach ball or something. Beach ball or something like that. And then the other one is like a high pressure inflation. You just push it in. Yeah, it's like a stepped yeah. one, and that'll fit some Boston valves. Yeah. Uh, I don't. But not really very useful with regard to, yeah. to kiting. You're going to use the hose end one, or you're going to use the high pressure sub style one. Um, and if you have something like a duotone uh, kite, you know, or, or something different like a Max Flow, you, you can put that adapter right into yeah, the end there, just yes. like a hose end would. Right on. And these screw on. You notice this doesn't have it because I was walking to the beach on a raging day. They were attached and they fell off and I don't know where they went. So I don't know if that was a kind of an engineer flaw, you know, design or it was just a rough day or it just happened, but something to note, mine came off. But yeah, pretty easy to use um, as well. Here's the box. Um, we've got our in inflate area where, you know, where the air, where this goes in the intake for the air and it's kind of screws right on in, in there. Yeah, the, the end of the hose actually spins independently. So that's kind yep. of handy. Yep. You don't get that classic hose spin problem. Uh, and then you can use the deflate side if you want to suck the air out of something like an inflatable paddle board. If you're going on vacation, you want to suck all the air out of your wings or, or kites. And then the top is where your two uh, power th th that you can use. Um, I, like again, I'm, I'm a little older, so I, was, I thought it should come with a block because when I first got it here at, in my office here at Matt Kite, I wanted to charge it. And I was like, I don't, I can't plug it in the wall. I, could, I did plug it in my computer. If you do plug it in your computer though, it takes a lot longer to charge because there's just not much power coming out of the computer. But if you use the block, uh, it charged, I, I, I've, I've charged it multiple times now. Under an hour, you get a full charge. It's pretty quick, actually. Yeah, it does with a lot of stuff. I mean, yeah. you can do like 10 wings or like seven kites, right? Yeah, I've done, well, a little less than that. I did do a test. Uh, I think I got up to like eight, but I did as, as large as a 17 meter and it was under three minutes. Um, and then the wings were anywhere from uh, two to three minutes. Yeah, just depending on how much pressure yeah, they needed the, and the yep. size of the leading yep, edge, yep. the size of the wing. So it comes with a handle, kind of you know, handy if you want to carry it. I usually stuff this in my bag, in my, my kite bag when yep. I'm walking down the beach. So that's kind of what it comes with, what the parts are, what it looks like. Something to keep in mind, you know, when you go to the beach, this isn't how you want to keep your kite or your wing from flying away. Yeah, it's not heavy enough. Not heavy enough, and you don't want to use the hose as your your leash. So you you need to bring some form of uh, if you're a winger, you could just use your uh, your leash from your board and and put it around your your the wing itself, attach it like uh, which I normally do anyways um, when I'm if I'm using electric. Yeah, anchor free. it with the foil yeah. if it's not overly windy. Yeah, or with a foil. Kiters may want to get creative. You know, we talked about it at lunch today. Could use some kind of staking method on the on the kite 
Again, you probably don't want to stake this because you don't want this to be your only attachment to your, your kite or your wing. Yeah, you can always just away. stand there with it as well. Yeah. Um, speaking of which, we did find when we use this, well, let's back up. First of all, like I said, if I my, my, saw myself doing this video, I would have kind of made fun of myself. I'm, I'm sold on this. Why am I sold on this? Because when I first get to the beach, I can get out of the car, set this up, set exactly what inflation I want on my wing and walk away and get my foil ready on my board, get my harness on, get myself all ready, save a ton of time. I come back, my wing is done. Yeah, perfect and, pressure every time. Yeah, perfect pressure every time. Easy to set with a plus and minus button. Uh, real easy to figure out. And you just hit the power button again and it starts it. Uh, it's got a high, it's got a, a low inflation, high inflation uh, pressure point. You can hear it changing. It's different noises when it's doing that. I'm sold. All those years of making fun of people using them, I'm sold because now I do my warm up more time on the water. Yeah. It's just sitting there and pumping it up. I think you experienced this too a little bit. In very cold conditions and really windy conditions, I felt that maybe it wasn't working as efficiently in those situations. I don't know if it's because I'm antsy and I want to get in the water, but it just seemed like it took a little extra time. Yeah, it took a little extra time. I equate it to something with the cold, especially if you leave it in your car overnight and it gets get really cold. I mean, we're talking Michigan here. It gets really, yeah. really cold. Sub below 40. Yeah, sub, sub freezing for sure. So this thing is solid, frozen uh, when you get it, when you go out for a session in the morning. And what I found was after it runs a little bit, it warms up, then it works perfectly. So one run around that I've used when I know it's freezing cold, if I didn't bring it into the house just to keep it warm, and, and you definitely don't need to do that, but one thing that'll help it work more effectively once you get to the beach is before you get out of the car, just run it for a minute, turn it on, let it run, let it warm up, let it suck some, some warmer air from your vehicle through the system, warm up those gaskets so that they can work more effectively. And, and since I've been doing that, really, it's, it's a non-issue. Yeah, and I think if you're anything, my, my, I'm new using these electric pumps, when I'm, if I'm sitting there staring and waiting, you know, it can seem like longer than it really is. Right, you know? yeah, it's like so, watching a pot boil. <laughs> yeah, it's like, so I think stepping away, I mean, it, I've timed them in good weather out here at the shop. Again, we did up to eight, four wings, four kites, and all of them were under four minutes, even the 17 meter. Uh, so that's pretty impressive for the amount of power this little thing can pack to do that many. I mean, obviously you're never gonna need to pump that much in one session, maybe yeah. two, maybe three, if you're really getting, want to get after it and yeah. you got all that energy. This will help you with that though, because you don't have to pump, you don't have to worry about that and get all tired out. So I think- you know, I'm right? sold on it. Yeah, it's so yeah. easy, it's so fast. You're the your favorite person at the beach for everybody. Yeah, you yeah. can borrow a pump, go ahead. Yeah. You know, and it's so small, it's so light, it packs into your gear so much easier than a pump, I would say. But the last bit of uh, suggestion I would have on these is for the longevity of the unit, do your best to keep the intake out of the sand. Try not to let sand and crap get in there. You know, I've heard of people making some kind of a filter for it. I'm not sure about that. You might be restricting airflow and kind of just overheating things. But the biggest you know, tip I have is I just throw it on my canopy when I'm inflating, make sure it's not all full of sand. Uh, if you set it in the sand, it's sucking sand, You know, it's probably gonna kill the unit eventually. I would agree with that, because this is the intake, right? Yep. Right there, so. But so far, I mean, it's one of my favorite. Changed my mind, freed me up to get my all my uh, foil and stuff put together. So yeah, it's not much more expensive than a normal pump. No, you know, it's, not. it's so much more compact and convenient. Yeah. And you know, all those days where you're out riding, you're like, man, I really, really should switch my wing up. But I don't feel like pumping another wing. It's gonna waste yeah. time. It's gonna totally agree. You know, whatever, go hook it up, pump it up, done. And uh, that way you're back out Very there on a properly powered wing. Check us out here at Matt Kite. Look us up. You can find the new Ride Engine Air Box. We have them in stock. And uh, again, it'll really make the uh, whole setup process and give you more time in the water. Absolutely. That's what all it's right. all about. More fun. That's right. This has been Jeff. And Tucker. Matt Kite. Enjoy the stoke.